there was no real reason to have a look at what I was doing because I was, you know, in the top ten in the world and um, I was getting paid really good money, like on contract, and you know, I had a house, a car, and a girlfriend, and you know, I was making finals, and I didn't really have any real reason to think that um, what I was doing with my lifestyle was any reason to, you know, to change. big wake up call for me was in 2006 when I wasn't having a very good year and then I got to Mundaka and I had a night out and the next day the swell come up a little bit and I wasn't feeling that good for my heat. I didn't get through that heat. Subsequently I didn't get through for the following year. I spent the next two, three years trying to get back onto the WCT tour without any success. You know, my life had got pretty out of control as far as I was drinking too much and, and just not making the right choices so I'm not sure what scale of 1 to 10 but I did some pretty ridiculous things in my time you know I'm, I'm lucky to be alive. I went back up the Sunshine Coast and I completed a um, residential rehab. Graduated from the program late April 2012. You now I hope by you know, my actions now that I can help kids come through that or you know guys that are struggling or they're in similar shoes that, you know, can maybe come to me, look at me and see as an example rather than, um, you know, have to go through the same stuff. Ultimately, I'd love to be back on the World Championship Tour. Like, I'd just love to be back on that tour. I'd just give anything to be back there. You know, I just want to be... Um, you know, sober and, and healthy and, you know, enjoying life. That's that's the main thing for me, you know, like the surfing bits come back as such a big bonus. But just got my life back in order is, is really special and uh, hopefully we stand in some big barrels and um, a lot more simple these days, but um, just the stuff that matters.